Ugh, man, I can't believe Flamingo and his family are gonna leave tomorrow to spend a few days in Banff during spring break, this is totally not fair because I'll just be staying at home bored all day long throughout the whole time Flamingo and his family are there, I'll even be bored on my 13th birthday because of this, but if only I could just join Flamingo on his Banff vacation I'd definitely be able to have a lot more actual fun during the break. Ugh, who's calling me? I literally don't feel like talking to anyone right now since I'm currently feeling very stressed out and jealous of Flamingo, but I guess I should answer anyway as maybe talking to someone on the phone can cheer me up a little bit. Ugh, hello, who's calling me right now? I'm literally not in the mood to talk to anyone because I'm currently feeling so jealous about my friend Flamingo and his family leaving tomorrow to spend a few days in Banff. Why? Teddy, I tried calling Ashley and told her to come over to my place because I really wanted to watch some Barney and Friends episodes with her, but she told me no and said she won't be able to come over due to her and Flamingo going on a vacation in Banff for a few days. I'm very sad and don't know what to do now, so can you please help me cheer up? Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that Flamingo's stupid Banff vacation has also made you upset too Dave, but wait a second, you know... All this talking about his vacation just gave me an amazing idea that I wish I would have thought of in the first place, but basically, why don't we just sneak into one of Flamingo's suitcases so we can easily join in and have all the fun we want with him and Ashley? I even heard Chloe and her mommy will be joining the vacation too. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're such a genius, Teddy. I also wish I would have thought of doing the two since me and Pikachu did that when you were the one going to Banff last year. But anyways, let's go meet at Flamingo's house right now so we can sneak onto his trade. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey there, Chloe and Chantal. I can't believe we finally all get to go on this five-day vacation in Banff together. Let's just go into our cabin already so we can unpack all our suitcases and have fun here. Yeah, hey there Leo, Ashley, and Flamingo, me and Chloe are also looking forward to spending some time with you guys in Banff as well. This was definitely a great idea for us to do together Flamingo. Thank you for suggesting it. No problem on Chantal and Chloe, I agree. I was honestly wanting to think of more ideas on what we could all do together as a family and this was definitely the... Wait, what the fuck? Teddy, either you, what the heck are you doing here? And why on earth are you sitting in the back of Flamingo's parent truck? Oh, hey there Chloe, Flamingo, Chloe's mommy, Flamingo's dad, and especially, hey there to you too Ashley. I was feeling extremely upset and jealous of Flamingo going to Banff this spring break with you guys so I decided to sneak onto your vacation to make myself feel better. Dave is also here too for the same reason but he's currently still chilling inside your suitcase that's right beside me. Yeah, that's right, I'm here too. But anyways, hey there Flamingo, Chloe, Ashley, and the rest of Flamingo's family. I can't wait to have fun here in Banff again too. Why? <laughs> Ouch, that fucking hurt. Can someone please help me get this stupid suitcase off my head now? Oh you have got to be fucking kidding me. I'm starting to regret going on this vacation now since Flamingo's stupid friend who leaked the Toronto Maple Leaf see here. Oh for God's sake dad, please don't start this crap with Teddy and Mom again. We all came to Banff to have a good time together on this trip so I certainly don't want to see any fighting about hockey at all throughout the time we're here. Yeah Leo, I agree with what Flamingo said. You and Ashley really need to get it under control whenever a okay season comes and when you guys see someone wearing a jersey that doesn't belong to the Toronto Maple Leafs or the Montreal Canadien. Oh thank you for getting that stupid suitcase off my head Flamingo's aunt. My body hurts so bad now after falling off the edge of Flamingo's parents truck. No problem Dave, it's okay, just please be more careful next time. You and Teddy also don't have to refer to me as Flamingo's aunt. You guys can just call me by my real name instead, which is Chantal. Oh, alright then Chantal, but can we please just get all of our stuff and go into the cabin already? I just want to rest for a while since my body hurts so bad from falling onto the ground. Sir Dave, he'll take you into our cabin right now so you can rest all you want while we finish getting all of our things out of our vehicle. Oh, my. God, wow, 
Is that cake for me, Chloe's mommy? Yep. It's Cerise Daddy. Good morning and happy 13th birthday to you. Flamingo told me that your birthday was today and requested me to make a cake for you and for us to celebrate. And please, just call me by my real name, which is Chantal. Oh, my bad. Sorry, Chantal. I completely forgot you said that to me and Dave yesterday, but I just still can't believe you're planning all this birthday celebration stuff up for me. I really appreciate it a lot. So, thank you so much, guys. Yeah, no problem, Teddy. After we got done taking all of our luggage out of the vehicles, I quickly realized that since your birthday was gonna be the next day, I decided to immediately tell Aunt Chantel about it so she could help me think of things we could all do to celebrate. But anyways, how about we all go sit down at the table now so we can enjoy your cake, Teddy? Alright everyone, now since we're all gathered at the table, let's start by saying happy birthday to Teddy before we dig into the cake. So, on the count of three, one, two, three. Happy 13th birthday to you. 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 Shut up Chantal, and he just want to say, fuck you Teddy, he hate you so fucking much because you said the Montreal Canadiens suck when we were staying in Toronto last year, so unhappy birthday to you and he hope your teenage years go terrible you stupid fucking moron. What, hey, Leo, he can't believe you would say something like that towards Teddy, you don't speak to anyone like that ever? That has got to be the most disrespectful thing you've ever said, and because of what you said, you will certainly not be joining us for any slices of cake. Yeah dad, I agree with what Aunt Chantel said, Teddy has literally done nothing to you, so there's absolutely no excuse for you to say something like that. Also, not only will you not be getting any slices of cake, but you will also not be joining us for any activities at all throughout the rest of the day either. Once we get back home to Calgary, you will be grounded for a week. Now, go to the bedroom right now and don't come out unless we say so. <laughs> I'm so sorry that my dad said all those rude things to you Teddy. I honestly wish I would have known he would say something like that towards you at some point considering that he doesn't like you that much for not being a fan of the Montreal Canadiens like him. It's alright Flamingo, but how about we just move on from all of this so we can have as much birthday fun as possible without your stupid dad? One thing for him to know is that I was right when I said the Montreal Canadiens suck ass when I snuck onto your vacation in Toronto last year. Oh boy guys, I can't believe I finally get to go to the Rocky Mountain Steakhouse again. I've been dying to come to this restaurant again ever since my first time eating here on my Canmore and Bound vacation last year. Yeah, I know right Teddy. I also enjoyed coming to this restaurant with you and your dad last year too. I just can't wait for our server to come by and take the orders over this like that room is cooking with cheese again. <laughs> Oh my freaking god, wow, you look and sound just like my future wife that I had in a dream not that long ago on what my life will look like once I'm an adult. My future wife's name was also Jennifer in the dream too. How is this even possible that I'm seeing you in reality? Oh my god, wow, really? Ha 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 ha. That's so hilarious. I can't believe you had a futuristic dream about me even though I've never even seen you in my life before. You seem like a very funny guy to me. What's your name then? Uh, well, if you really must know, my name is Flamingo. And yes, that's my real name. I'm not joking. Just ask my two friends and my family members and they'll say the same thing that I just said. Ha ha ha. Um, okay then, Flamingo. But anyways, sorry about that guys. I got a bit distracted and here's my videos for when you're ready to order some food. And 
would you guys like anything to drink before I leave? <laughs> well, if you ask the team of the basket jazz, the polygo with some more turf from now, thank you very much. Yeah, I agree with what Chantal said, but before you go, me and my friend wearing the yellow shade glasses actually know what we want to order already since we really enjoyed coming to this restaurant last year. I also have a question about one of the items on your menu too. Okay then sir, what would you and your friend like to order and what is your question? Well, me and my friend Dave would like to order the Moose Burger with cheese, and I'm also just curious, but what is the 96 in? Oh, well the old 96 er is a special car. It is a 96 sounds not a made in that state, and if you are any member of your party orders the old 96 er and finishes the whole thing, then everyone eats for free. Oh my god, wow, that's so cool. I think one of us should definitely go ahead and order it. So, wanna go for a flamingo? Oh, no thank you, Teddy. I don't want all that pressure put on me just so we can eat for free. I mean literally. Why would everyone get to eat for free anyway if somebody finishes eating an entire steak? Like what's even the point and so special about this? Are you guys doing this to get people to order the steak due to nobody wanting it or something? Well, Flamingo, it's actually a pretty popular item on our menu. However, my manager told me that we haven't had a single customer finish the whole thing in over 30 years. So that's why we decided that everyone eats for free if someone finishes the whole thing. Wow, that's even cooler. The 96 air must be extremely huge if nobody has been able to finish the whole thing for over 30 years. So come on, Flamingo, just order the steak already so we can all eat for free. That's <laughs> Well, thanks for saying that, Aunt Chantal. But you know what? I'll just go ahead and try the stupid steak anyway so Teddy will finally stop annoying me about it. Alright, now I'm going to want to make all these jersey prepares the chicken fingers and fries that you ordered. And last but not least, here's the good old 96 sir. I hope you all enjoy your meals, and I especially have faith that you can do this for me now. I will be here. Bon appetit, sir. I hope you're hungry. Oh, bon Dieu. Vous êtes juste la taille de cette chose. Il est définitivement impossible que le bon boss Lomigo puisse finir tout ce steak tout seul en une seule chose. Oh, boy, everyone, look. Come over here right now. This guy wearing a black and white shirt and orange pants is about to eat the old 96 sir. Wait, what the fuck? Why did almost everyone in the restaurant get out of their seats and gather up here all of a sudden just so they could watch me eat my stupid 96 sir? Oh, silly flamingo. When I said that if someone orders the 96er and everyone eats for free if that person finishes the whole thing, I meant to say that every customer who's currently inside the restaurant building when you finish your last bite will also all get to eat for free too. Wait, what? Are you fucking serious, Jennifer? Now I feel even more pressured than ever to finish this whole stay. I guess this means I'll have to start digging into it now since nearly everyone in the restaurant is now apparently watching me. Uh, there's definitely no way I'll be able to finish eating this entire huge steak in just one day. Why couldn't have you ordered the 96S since you're the one so interested in it, Teddy? It's literally your birthday today after all. Now, oh my god, look at that guys, the orange pants guy is gonna be done eating the 96 bur in a minute now. Just one more bite and then we won't have to pay for anything we've had here tonight. Uh, man, my stomach is literally not feeling so good right now. This was definitely way too much steak for me to eat all in just one day. But let's just hurry up and get this over with already since thankfully I only have one more bite left now. Oh thank god I'm finally done the stupid 96 and now. I can't believe I actually managed to finish this whole entire thing all in just one day. But I should probably head off to the bathroom as my stomach is feeling so awful now after eating all that. Alright everyone, even though Teddy and Chloe are both currently wanting to use the bathroom at the moment, does anybody have any movies we can suggest to Teddy once he comes back? Oh, well Aunt Chantel. 
I think I know of the perfect movie that Teddy will definitely enjoy watching with us tonight. I was thinking we could watch. What the fuck was that? Oh mon putain de dieu, est-ce un vrai ou ce vivant Comment diable cette chose est-elle entrée dans notre cabine Quelqu'un s'il vous plaît, aidez-nous. Nous devons trouver un moyen d'évacuer et de sortir d'ici maintenant. Hey, you, stupid bear, look right behind you. Take this, you fat intruder. Oh shit, I'm so screwed, what am I possibly gonna do now to get this stupid bear out of here? Oh hey, wait a minute, it looks like someone who was staying in this cabin before us left a rotten apple under here, I'm gonna go pick it up because I think I have an idea on how we can finally get this bear to leave. <coughs> hey, stupid bear, look, look, I got a fresh juicy apple right here just for you, do you want it, do you want it? <coughs> oh, so you want it? Well, in that case, go fetch. <coughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Don't you ever try coming back here again? Do you fucking hear me? Thank you so much for standing up to that bear for a steady, your hero, who knows what could have happened to us if you never decided to sneak onto our vacation. Yeah, I agree with you on Chantel. You were certainly super brave fighting the stupid bear like that Teddy. I'm now thankful more than ever that you decided to sneak onto my Banff vacation since you saved all of our lives just now. It's no problem guys. There's obviously no way I was gonna let that bear attack you like that. So I immediately knew I would have had to do something about it so I could help you all get it to leave the place. Hey Guy, can someone please explain to me what we are going on here just now? You are in the middle of watching some episodes of Barney and Friends Bu you could not help but hear some very scary noise coming from down here. You are so scared that he immediately started crying and he locked the bedroom door so nobody could come in. Yeah, he agree with what Uncle Leo said. He also got pretty scared when he heard roaring noise coming from downstairs so he decided to lock the bathroom door as well. Oh, salut Chloé et Leo. Je suis désolé d'apprendre que les bruits rugissants venant d'ici vous faisaient peur tous les deux. La raison pour laquelle vous entendiez ces bruits effrayants était parce qu'un ours s'est entré par effraction dans la cabane pendant que nous étions cherchant des films à regarder à la télévision. Teddy a réussi à nous sauver tous de l'ours parce qu'il est immédiatement descendu courageusement et a commencé à le combattre. Nous avons eu tellement de chance que Teddy ait rejoint nos vacances parce que sans lui, qui sait ce que cette chose aurait pu nous faire. Oh my god, well Teddy... So you're telling me that you managed to scare an actual bear of LB yourself. That's so amazing, you're literally a lifesaver, I'm more glad than ever that you snuck onto your Banff vacation Teddy I'm definitely gonna remember this for the rest of my life now. Yeah, and to be honest Teddy, he actually agree with everything Chloe said, after hearing Abu everything you did with this scary bear just now. He just didn't want to say oh now sorry I'm Abu the mean things he said to you earlier today when we were celebrating your birthday at the table, the only reason why he did that he because he can't barely tolerate anyone who dis like the Montreal Canadien, but he can't probably tolerate you and much I can't tolerate Ashley now Teddy, so, he guess he should say this, but happy 13th birthday to you and he hope your teenage years go great. Alright Teddy, we have finally arrived that you're out now, I'm sure your dad and stepmother will be very glad to see you back home my day must have been really worried sick about you throughout the past five days we spent in Banff together, but anyways, I'll go ahead and bring your doorbell now so your parents can finally reunite with you again. Hello there sir, I'm here because your son, along with one of his friends, Snack on a two month my family's five day vacation to Banff. We all had such a fun time with Ted joining us on our little adventure. But we figured we should bring him back home since you and his stepmom must have been really worried about him for the past while now. Oh my god, wow, thank you so much, madam. 
Me and my girlfriend Natalie have literally been so worried sick about Teddy for the past few days now, I should have figured that he probably snuck on to someone's vacation again since this isn't the first time he's done that, but I'm gonna go call Natalie over here right now so she can see that you brought Teddy back home. Hey Natalie, Natalie, get over here to the front door right now, Teddy's finally back home now. Wait, really Paul? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this, Teddy. We're so happy and relieved to finally have you back home with us now. Me and your dad were both really sick and worried about you while you were gone. Thank you for rightfully bringing Teddy back home to us, madam. Yeah, but anyways, Teddy, even though me and Natalie are both relieved that you came back home safely, what you did was completely unacceptable as you had both of us extremely worried about you throughout the past five days. Just when are you seriously gonna stop sneaking onto my work trips and other people's vacations for good? Because of what you did, you'll be so grounded for. No, stop. Teddy doesn't deserve to be grounded, although we completely understand why you'd both be pretty upset with him right now. He shouldn't get grounded because during your time in Banff on the evening of his 13th birthday, he was so brave because he successfully managed to save all of our lives from a very large intruding bear that broke into our cabin and started attacking us. If it wasn't for Teddy sneaking onto our vacation, who knows what that bear could have done to mend my family. Wait, what? Really? Is this true? So you're telling us that Teddy actually managed to stand up and fight against an actual bear like that? If that's the case, he's certainly gotta be the most brave person I've ever met now. Oh yes, you guys better believe it's true. Why on earth would they be lying about something like this? Because of Teddy being super heroic on our vacation. I think he about should reward him of what he did. Not ground or punish him. So, do we make myself clear Teddy's parent? Yes madam, just hearing about how Teddy managed to handle an actual bear attacking your family members and breaking into your Banff cabin. He will certainly not be getting grounded now since this has got to be the most impressive thing he's ever done in his life. So anyways, come on in Teddy, me and Natalie have some birthday gifts waiting for you in the living room. Oh my god, yay. Thank you so much for saving me from being grounded again Chantal, you're the best, I can't wait to see what my daddy and Natalie got me for my birthday this year, but anyways, see you later Chantal, I can't wait to see you, Dave, and the rest of Flamingo's family again soon.